What's up guys, it's Joe the Pro here, back at it again with another video. Before this one starts today guys, I need you guys to please drop a like on this video, hit subscribe, hit the post notification bell. So today we are going to be instructing you on how to rebuild a front roller hinge for an AMF pin spotter. Well, these hinges are pretty much the same between the 8270s, 8230s, 90s, XLI. So as you can see, this uh, hinge is very dirty. Um, it came out of lane number 12. What is our first step every time when we fix a part is always to clean it because this is pretty ridiculous. So I'm gonna come over here to my cleaning tank, flip it open. As you can see, it's got nothing in it at the moment because I'm kind of in the process of patching a hole. But another, nevertheless, take some WD-40 degreaser. We're gonna come in here, spray this thing down. Um, I'm gonna just put the other one in here at the same time for the purpose of this video. You can go ahead and take out these rubber pieces that go where the front roller sits. As you can see, this one is uh, a little overdue for uh, replacement. All right, so first step every time, always clean your parts that you're working on. So I'm gonna start with some WD-40, loosen up all that built up grease on there. All right guys, so next step, take a shop towel that you don't care too much about. Find a dirty one. All right, I'm just gonna go with this one here. So take my, w, my can of WD-40 here, go in your parts cleaner tank, give it another spray. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start scrubbing all this grease and stuff off. And as you can see, it comes right off with the WD-40. It does an awesome job. Um, it, would, it does help if you have good parts cleaner though, so definitely would recommend that. I'm gonna go ahead and set this in my vise. I am not going to clamp it because we are going to push this bushing out of here. So what you're gonna do, take a socket that matches the size approximately of your bushing. Uh, for me, this is an 11 16 socket. Take a hammer, watch your fingers, and just give it a few good pounds to get it started. So the bushing should be level with the edge of the hinge, and your first couple hits are gonna matter here. So you can just set it on there. Just watch your fingers, get a few good pounds. So as you can see, I already got it started out of there. So now it'll be a lot easier. A few good hits. And as you can see, it fell right out of there. So basically, whenever you pull these hinges out, um, you basically always want to replace this bushing because this is what rides on the shaft. And that shaft wears out if you do not take care of it. So I always replace the bushing and the less noise you have up there with the front roller, the better. So I'll throw that old bushing out. I have a nice new bushing right here. Um, I found that it helps if you just take a little bit of grease and coat the outside of it before you put it back in there. Just helps it all slide back in real nice. So when you put it back in now to ensure that your bushing goes in straight. You can kind of set it up like that. You can kind of feel where you need to put it to get started. So you're gonna put it right in your vise like this. Um, if you're really worried about the teeth marks on your vise, you can always put a piece of metal in there. I'm not too worried about it. So kind of take your bushing, your new bushing, put it on the back side of the hinge and go ahead and start clamping it in there. So if you see it start going in crooked because of the structure of this, I usually just flip it over like this and then start pushing it in and it'll line itself up like so. And then push it in. Should, shouldn't be too hard gonna be a little resistance but once you you will see 
that I have got it in there all the way now. So go ahead and loosen up your vise and you'll see your nice new bushing is in there. So now your next step, you're going to replace the rubber piece that sits in here that supports the front roller. Um, Cubic AMF makes these. It's really straightforward. You literally just set it right in there and you'll see that there's like a little tab that's bent right there. This hinge is a little worn out, but it'll be all right. So you just gotta set that in there like that. Make sure it's sitting all the way. Let's so go ahead and run your finger on all the sides like that. And when you do that, your front roller hinge is ready to go and you repeat the process for both of these. All right guys, I hope that video helped you guys out. You have any further questions on how to do this project, uh, either put a comment in the comments on this video or you can shoot me an email at joethepro181 at gmail.com. So please drop a like, hit subscribe, and enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks for watching. Do it like a pro. We'll see you guys in the next one.